I was going to say, um, you look very different without the goatee. The goatee is, is, is well, it's, it's still there in the show. Well, right now. Oh, no, right now. You know, I'm, I'm smooth a little bit. Yeah, I'm a daddy in real life, so I can't always have the goatee because my son doesn't like it. it. Scratches him. Okay. So, well, speaking of, since you're a father, you mentioned that. Um, on the show, you're a bit darker. Do you ever use that against your child? No, 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 no. He never deserves it. He's, he's a wonderful kid. And he keeps me in line. He's dark with me sometimes. No, it's, uh, it's uh, listen, you know, I mean, in, on Mad Men, I was a... Uh, a misogynist on One Tree Hill. I was a, a a father who was incredibly difficult, and on this show, I'm a, um, a sort of a um, egocentric, romantic warrior vampire who is, is hell bent on on basically controlling the humans so that we can have them as our food source and winning. Um, it's a it's a fascinating role, and it's a, it's incredibly well written. I have a blast doing it. You know. Yeah. Are we going to see other vampire factions? Is that giving anything away? Should I, can I say? I will say yes. Uh, all right. Yeah, it gets it gets complicated and interesting, and it really it starts to really become uh, a great journey in, in season two. Mm. And there is quite a bit of a power struggle going on within the vampire community. What's going on? It's constant, and it continues. I mean, that that struggle never stops. They never let up on that one. Uh, and there's always other challenges. And surprisingly, there's uh, some. I mean, not to get into it too deeply, but you you see. Um, it is challenged. The leadership is challenged constantly, and and there's dire circumstances for that. And then uh, you've had uh, some good scenes with uh, Van Helsing, like the vi vampire fighting, and uh, how was that process? Well, but in the first season, it was I didn't have as much as I do in the second season. Yeah. The second season really gets going, and I think you know because you know my character is very powerful. He's older. He's he's an older version of the vampires, so he's kind of the top of the food chain in that regard. They I don't have to do much. I, I order my soldiers to do a lot. When I do engage, it's pretty quick and pretty final, you know, um, until it isn't. You know, there's there's strong forces coming my way, and I we've got to find you know, comparable solutions yeah. to it. Now, I did say like fighting Van Helsing. So essentially fighting Vanessa is like fighting Van Helsing. Oh, for sure. She's she's the most worthy adversary in the whole thing. And hopefully I'm providing the same with my character for her. I hope that that's playing well. Um, you know, you never know how these things really work out until they, until they air. But um, I'm feeling really, really happy with the way that it went this year. And she's a blast to work with. So, yeah. And if you want to talk a little bit about the different types of vampires and like how, yeah. you know, because there's the bottom feeders and they keep going up the food sure. chain. It's an interesting interpretation to show such a broad mm -hmm. range. Yeah, as the uh, as the power of the vampire, you know, um, manifestation happens in each of the humans, there's it becomes diluted as it goes all the way down to the ferals, which are basically feeding rat vampires. And then as it climbs back up, there's more intelligence, there's more um, uh, organization until you get to the elites, which is what, what, what I am and, uh, you know, my sister. And um, it, it becomes, um, you know, almost like the cerebral version of the vampires with, with more enhanced powers. So I do love that hierarchy too. I think they play it out really well. And I would love that to continue in this series as part of the what makes that series unique is that hierarchy. If you, what would have been like for you to, if you got to play one of the more bottom feeders, and would you have wanted to do that? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if the role was good, it's always about the role and what's the arc for the character. But I think they made the good choice. I mean, they were, you know, I think actually they had somebody else in mind for this part before they got to me. And I think when I met with them, I think the conversation which was sort of leaning towards, um, you know, um, the historical evolution of the vampires and mythology through the Transylvania myths and south of Count Vlad Dracul and, you know, some of the Romanian poetry. There was a, sort of an, a, an understanding between myself and the creators of the show, and we hit something, and, and I think that's what stuck. Your character does have an interesting relationship with his sister. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about that? Yeah, we have sex, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have sex with my sister. You know, I call that a Tuesday where I'm from. No, it's it's fascinating. I mean, I love it. I think it's great. I think there's, I think there's sexuality in almost every vampire, you know, evolution. Uh, I don't know how uh, how it'll work out uh, in in you know as it evolves, but I must say uh, I found it titillating. You know, I mean, and I mean that in a in a in a you know, it just it just it's fascinating. I mean, I I find sexuality and power to be sort of 
synonymous in their values, you know. They're just, it's all about power, you know. How do you think you would do in this vampire, pseudo-ish zombie apocalypse? In this one, me personally, Paul, um, I would take my son and run up to the mountains of Canada and I would, I would, you know, hunt and I'd live in a cabin I have up there and uh, we do have a cabin up there and we would just stay away. I don't know. No, we're going to, yeah, we have lots of water up there and lots of food and, and we would be isolated. I don't think vampires would like that kind of cold. Uh, what can we look forward to with your character for the next season? Um, I think things tend to get um, much more intense. Um, there's a, uh, I'm brought, you know, to a place where um, big decisions have to be made. And, you know, there is, uh, it, it really pays off really well. It's, it's, I'm very excited about it. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Thank you. You too. Thanks Thank for you. the questions. Thank you.